Hi, I'm uh, Maxime, developer of Shadow World. Welcome to the presentation of the 2.7 updates, which is currently available on the marketplace and uh, downloadable uh, on uh, GitHub. Uh, the uh, 4.27 version of the plugin is also, uh, has also been updated, as well as the uh, 4.26. So if you're on the previous version of the Unreal Engine, you can download uh, the latest version of the plugin as well. Um, the new, the new uh, update, uh, the 2.7 update, is uh, completely changing the way uh, computation is happening in the world. So we used to compute on the fly uh, around the camera uh, uh, with a lot of uh, redundancy in the computation, and now the computation is actually happening on a partition representation of the world so there's much less redundancy in the computation you're computing just a piece of terrain once and uh, reusing it as much as you want so you can visualize the partition using a sw draw space partition and if you move the camera you can be able to see uh, all the squares are actually computing only once it's quite a big deal because we uh, we used to compute on as we're computing on GPU we uh, we have some uh, margin to do uh, redundant computation because it's so performant that you can uh, you can uh, you're allowed to do uh, much more computation. So, but now that we've partitioned uh, the computation, it's much more efficient. And what it actually allows us to do is. Uh, to have much, many more brushes spawned in the world because uh, as they're computed only once you can have uh, many more they will uh, only be computed once and uh, you don't have to uh, to pay a, a permanent uh, performance budget uh, allocated to, uh, to the brushes if I take for instance uh, this brush here. You can see I can move it around. It's uh, changing the uh, all the dating the vegetation as well. And I can blend brushes with each other. With all the vegetation being uh, recomputed, and the uh, the vegetation is actually uh, deterministically deterministically spawned. That's easy to say. Uh, it means that uh, you can change uh, the the terrain settings. The trees will always will always spawn at the same location for a given settings. The only uh, thing that can prevent determinism in the placement of trees is if you are completely uh, messing around with the uh, terrain generation settings at runtime. There is specific combinations uh, that you can do to prevent losing determinism if you want to have a multiple level of detail for the terrain for instance. So I've set up uh, a couple of examples in the uh, player controller on how to, uh, to change the terrain settings while preserving determinism. So you can play around with a uh, vertice patch, terrain resolution. The only criteria is that uh, the underlying height map, height map you're generating for the terrain has to remain the same. So you can uh, change the number of vertices used to render the terrain, the quality of the, ter of the terrain. As long as you're preserving the same height map generated underneath, the vegetation generated at runtime time is, uh, will remain the same. And uh, Shadow World does always have brushes, as I mentioned earlier. So now I have uh, I put a couple. You can disable the brushes at run, uh, with, a, with a brush manager here. Yeah? And every, all the vegetation is uh, actually being uh, recomputed. There's a couple uh, hundred thousand trees here.
if I'm actually moving something uh, something smaller, you can see it's uh, much more reactive. And as I am uh, partitioned uh, for the computation, now it's much more efficient to do all this computation as it's only done once. Um, the fact that the world is partitioned also open up, opens, opens up the uh, ability to spawn uh, to spawn brushes at runtime, as well as uh, directly editing the uh, the cache system. What's actually uh, happening underneath is that we are generating a virtual uh, virtual texture space on which we are generating the terrain and uh, we are actually drawing the terrain and generating the terrain on this uh, virtual texture space that is following the player around so i can for instance at runtime i have my character here now if i did uh, a simple uh, Edit mode, which allows you to uh, to carve into the terrain uh, at one time. So right now, the, the thing I'm doing is actually I'm only spawning uh, brushes, but uh, there's you can directly edit the cache. It's just it's uh, you have to to code it in C plus plus right now. But uh, by uh, spawning brushes, you actually, I'm actually uh, spawning actors. Those actors can be saved to uh, to uh, a save file and uh, loaded back up. So you can completely save those edits in the package game. And I assigned a key on my uh, on my keyboard to toggle the uh, the brush manager uh, first layer, so I can uh, during gameplay I can completely uh, reshape my world. And all of this can happen actually in a in a package game. You can uh, that's something you can't do in uh, with Unreal Engine landscape. With Unreal Engine landscape, when you're packaging your game, everything is baked down to textures, and you can't edit your terrain at one time. Well, uh, here I can completely reshape my terrain. In package game, with everything re being being recomputed, uh, so I can, uh, can have some demonstration about the uh, determinism of vegetation. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, gonna, uh, for instance. I'm gonna add back the, uh, the basic menu system I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna make, take some altitude. Shots, Photoshop. change my terrain settings I take a screenshot and you can see the terrain is uh, as many more vertices right now it's all the trees and all the rocks are all spawned exactly the same because of uh, determinism So I made a downloadable uh, demo of this world. You can uh, find it on the 
the description page of the uh, of Shadow World. But yeah, I made it a bit more obvious to, uh, because I still have the question about uh, what's the difference between Shadow World and Unreal Engine Landscape with Land Mass. And the thing is that uh, with Shadow World, you can edit your terrain in package game, which is something you can do in uh, with uh, Unreal Engine Landscape. So we've seen the terrain partition, the fact that you can have many more, much more brushes now. Um, I added an option to uh, disable uh, the uh, contact shadowing for grass. It's actually for an image, but you can, uh, it allows to have a better performance on grass. So right now you can, for instance, uh, enable dynamic shadows, but disable uh, contact shadows. And uh, I also made the, uh, the plugin uh, compatible with um, easy building system. So it's a request I had. Uh. Okay, so I'm closing this one. Here I'm on the uh, 5, 520, wait, 5.2. <laughs> I'll try the two preview, so it's available on GitHub if you want. Okay, which version is that? Right now, by default, we are computing on the uh, at, uh, at the highest precision possible. We're computing on 64 meters by 64 meters uh, partition grids. can't do uh, planets with shadow world it's not part of the scope <laughs> let's not let's not get a uh, feature creep <laughs> like some uh, crowdfunded projects i can do pretty planets Easy building system, yeah. It, it was just uh, you couldn't use it before. It was just uh, a matter of uh, toggling a boolean value uh, to true, <laughs> and it was uh, because shadow world wasn't detected. In a, okay, so it's a default uh, default sample of uh, easy building system. I think the only thing I had to do was to add. Uh, to add a tag to the world, actor tag is landscape or something. Yes, so you might not see it because it's a uh, really small, but I had to add is landscape. Now this is a landscape and now this is Shadow World. And the key to... Okay, so now it's detected. Can okay, get stuff here. It's silly because with Shadow World you can completely reshape the terrain. So we could have the actual building modifying the terrain underneath and uh, preventing the spawning of grass. We just have to spend a bit more time on it. But it's uh, totally uh, doable to have uh, the grass disappear and the terrain uh, 
can have an even more effect, more advanced effect. You can, for instance, write uh, in some layers some extra information and have specific materials spawning around the building. But right now, it's just a spawning asset. It can be much more interesting. But it works. <laughs> so you can, uh, can use it uh, with easy building system. Yeah, that's about it. The partition competition is quite a big deal because uh, if you really, uh, if, you're, if you're a bit of a scientist, engineer, you can uh, look into how it's done and uh, you can expand it to create a GPU-based voxel world, for instance. That's not part of the scope of Shadow World, not right now at least, but uh, it's possible. It's really interesting. That's about it. Thanks.